Today's video, you guys, is a result of shopping with your bestie. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Kira. If you are new, Oliver is floating around here somewhere. He was just there a second ago, so I'm sure he will be back to resume his perch, but Today I am here to sit down and film like a little shopping haul with you. I did go out with Vanessa for the day. We grabbed some breakfast. We talked all about the upcoming cookbook. We picked a name and we started the file that we needed to get all of our recipes in order to have the book go to print. And so we spent a good chunk of the morning working on that. And then her and I went to Big Lots to a Dollar Tree that was literally right next door. Like they were side by side. And then her and I went went to Sam's Club, which that video you guys have already seen. So I will link her channel down below. I know she was going to film also what she bought. I'm not sure when she's putting it up. Uh, I think I'm going to put this out on Thursday, but I'm not exactly sure when. But I did get a bunch of stuff from Big Lots. I think I spent like $150. I did donate to the Veterans Fund. They were collecting for that. Um, but then I also had a coupon. So I think I only paid like $142 out of pocket. But I have that stuff. And then we did go to Dollar Tree, but I only spent $13. Uh, I just went to the DT and I filmed that haul for you guys. So I can link that up above if you want to see what I got from the Dollar Tree. But this was just a few additional like graduation things and stuff at this place had that I couldn't get from the other place. So I'm going to share with you what I got at Big Lots. I got a lot of fun things. Super excited. So one thing that I got was for Maya for her birthday. Paul got Mason and Maya. Well, I mean, it's for everybody, but it's really more for the little kids. But he got them like one of those Intex pools for Christmas time. It was a great time to snag a really good deal because it was Christmas time. It's gold. Nobody's really buying swimming pools, but he bought them one. And so we've been anxious to go ahead and start setting it up. So we've been like putting the sand out and all of that stuff and getting the whole yard prepared. And Maya's birthday is in a couple of weeks and I thought this would be really fun. She's totally into mermaids and I think that this will like be engaging for them to want to go and find them. But these are magic mermaids and on the back it says these diving mermaids will test your swimming and diving skills as you try and catch them while they dive deeper into the water. Have loads of fun in and out of the water all day long. And it says three magic mermaids and it doesn't require like batteries or anything. The water just activates them to dive deeper and deeper and you have to chase them. So I thought that would be cool. There's even like a little girl on the back chasing the mermaids. So I thought that would be fun. Uh, and then the rest of what's in this bag is food finds. I'm not gonna pull this out with any rhyme or reason, but one thing I do love about Big Lots is that it's like your Dollar Tree food finds on steroids because this is pretty much all name brand stuff, but like, off name brand stuff, things you don't see anywhere like this, for example. Never seen this in my life. They had three different flavors. I only got one. Could have bought all three. Wasn't going to do that. But I mean, come on, you guys. So it was $3.29. And this is by the Moon Pie brand. And it says chocolate flavor snack puffs. There was also vanilla and then a salted caramel. But like what even? Like a chocolate doodle? Like my kids love their cheese doodles, but then like uh to get one that's chocolate flavored puffs. No, I don't even know, but that sounds amazing. And that is a huge, huge bag. It's 10 ounces, but I mean that's really, really big for $3.29. So I'm excited to try that. And then I'm not sure where I got it from. Either Sam's I'm pretty sure it was Sam's like a while back, but I had tried the Lay's Layers was the name of the chips and they're like all spun together. And I think we got the barbecue and the kids were like, eh, about it. There was mixed reviews in the comments when I shared it in the grocery haul, but they were good, but it was like the flavor, the, the consistency was great, but it was the flavor that was weird. But this is Lay's Layers and just the sour cream and onion. So I think that they're gonna like this a lot better just because they like the sour cream and onion flavor and the crisp and the crunch was already there, you know, and really, really good. So I think they're going to like that. Uh, what, why is this camera just trying to focus on me? You do see camera that there is another object in 
here hello say hello to the chips there you go um and so does there was there a price on this there was not but i don't think it was over three dollars none of the like food deals and stuff are that expensive at big lots that's why it's three and then i found these doritos but these are not for me they're for vanessa in canada but i think i've mentioned to you guys i did in my last dollar tree haul when i found the tapatio hot fries that she loves any kind of like hot sauce thing and these are Tapatio Doritos. Like, I've never seen that before. And I think that is so, so awesome. I don't definitely don't think that's something that she's going to be able to get there. This actually says they're made in Plano, Texas, in the Frito-Lay North America division. So I'm pretty sure she's not going to be able to get this there. So I am just going to continue to put that in her care package. I don't know if she's going to end up getting it before her birthday, but her birthday is in September and she'll be 41 this year, but I never got to send out stuff that I was collecting for her last year for her birthday. So I am just going to send out one big giant care package to her come her birthday time. Uh, I found this, this was $12, which I thought was exceptionally good because for whatever reason, any kind of fake topiary at Big Lots is stupid expensive anywhere, really, for that matter. But I thought this was really good. All of the flowers and, like, plants and everything that I bought at Home Depot for inside of my house are dead, you guys. I just can't even keep cactus alive. It's kind of crazy. And so this says, this is the only plants I can keep alive. And it says, how is it growing on this little, like, tag that's hanging there. And it's this little white, like, box. And it has the little twine. And it's written in the nice font. It's pretty decent sized and then it has this little plant and I'm gonna put it on the plant stand that I got to grow plants on because I wanted to try and be a green thumb and there's no point in me doing that because I stink at it okay all right um this is something I thought was super super cool I wish that there was more of them this was kind of sitting on a random end cap and the lady asked me oh did you see the other ones and i said i don't even know where this came from we didn't see where there were any more like this this was just sitting by itself on a lonely end cap and so this is called the cool wear eight piece taste station set a great way to keep foods and condiments freshly chilled so i am going to take this out so i can share this with you guys because I think this is awesome for like parties and stuff, especially here in Texas where it's wicked hot. You know that the object is to keep things on ice and as chilled as possible. So you have this bottom piece right here that you fill with ice, okay? And all these little things, little compartments come out. And so this little lid comes off and now you're going to go ahead and you're going to fill this basin with ice and probably a splash of water because I always find that ice with a little bit of water gets even colder than just ice because then things can kind of sink and submerge. And then each one of these things sit in here and they all have a lid. And so I was thinking for Jake's Tex-Mex portion, you can do your guacamole, your salsa, and your sour cream in these little individual compartments, and they'll stay good and chilled, which I think is awesome. But you can use these seriously for a million things. Like it said, condiments. I thought that was really smart. For Mason's birthday, I did individual little sandwiches um, and it was Christmas time. So I had little Christmas bowls and stuff and I set up mayo and, you know, ketchup and all of that kind of stuff. But this would be brilliant for something like that if you're not doing it around Christmas time and you don't have Christmas bowls or whatever. But I loved this. I this And what was, hold on, let me check the box. This was $9.99. So I think that's a great deal for something like that. It is good, sturdy plastic, and it's going to last me a really long time. So I was really happy about that, and I was really happy to find this. Now, this, I believe, was a little bit pricier than I wanted to spend. I think the sign said $7.00. But this is like, they call it, what do they call it? A uh, lid? Yeah. Cookware and lid rack. The Dollar Tree used to sell something like this, not as tall and sturdy, but it was a dollar. I haven't even seen one since it turned over 
to a dollar twenty-five, but they're impossible to find. And I got one a long time ago, loved it. Next time I saw one, I bought another one, and I should have bought more because my cabinets are really wide, and I have them in here. And so, like. In one of them, I have all of my cutting boards and my, like, those little silver trays I used to use for the kids' lunches during, like, the summertime and, like, sheet pans and stuff. They all go in here. And then the other one has lids. But there's just so many uses for this. Like, I have more cutting boards and more sheet pans and more of those silver trays than just fit in the one that I have in there. And like I said, the other one's for lids. So I really wanted more of these. I highly recommend them if you're looking for like a good organizational tool to help keep things organized in limited space. I recommend them because it just keeps things standing up and they're easy to pull out and they're easy to store. So I recommend that and I was happy to see if even for the $7, I don't know when I'll ever, you know, see one from at the Dollar Tree again. So I grabbed it. So I grabbed these two because I was literally bedazzled by them. So I'm going to give these to Maya for her birthday also. I just thought they would be really fun to jazz up her dresser in her room. She has a gray dresser and I just think these will completely sparkle it. Like I'll save the knobs so if we ever sell the dresser or if she ever grows out of the sparkly phase and she just wants to put the gray knobs back on we'll have them accessible but how much was this? It was not expensive. I want to say it was eight dollars or something like that and just look how beautifully bedazzling and jeweled and I just think they're so pretty and eight is exactly what I needed for her dresser. So I got this for her and we're going to give this, like I said, to her for her birthday. And then on July 1st is Ruby's birthday. So I saw these cute little dog treats. It's four like dog bone shaped cookies and they're covered in like frosting and sprinkles. Chewy has something like this. I've gotten it for them before and I've gotten like the cookies. It looks like a whole big tin of Christmas cookies during Christmas time but I saw this so I'm gonna put that away for um, Ruby's birthday and then if again you saw my Dollar Tree haul I bought those like um little battery operated lights for my lantern downstairs i bought starfish and i bought little seahorses up oh, there he is i knew it wouldn't take him long for him to claim his spot of fame uh so one of the things i said i wanted to do was get like a fisherman's net and have it come out of the lantern and the lights would kind of be on the bottom and i would get like starfish and stuff so when i saw this this was literally exactly my vision so this was like fisherman's net and it has one of these so i'm gonna put this hanging out of the lantern if i do it already by the time i edit this i'll pop a little picture up right here but this has the starfish and everything it was 14 dollars to me it was completely worth it because i'll reuse it every year and i like that i'm collecting decorations so that i can do those lanterns like that every single like holiday or whatever so i was excited about that uh bear creek I love Bear Creek. I originally discovered Bear Creek at the Dollar Tree way back when. I don't know what happened. There must have been like a misprint on a bag or something. And they had so many that Dollar Tree bought them out. And every Dollar Tree got in these massive shipments of their mac and cheese. And they were so delicious. Every single time I was stumbling upon them, I was like buying them out. They were so good. And then eventually they just kind of dissipated and they never came back. And I never saw Bear Creek again. I did stumble into like one grocery store in Carolina that had it, but other than that, I've never discovered anybody who had it besides Big Lot. So whenever I go in there, I scope out their Bayer Creek and I see if there's anything new. And this is a creamy chicken pasta mix. So hearty orchetta pasta in a rich creamy chicken flavored sauce with carrots. Just sounded like something different, just add water. So just a nice side dish. We get kind of bored of the same old things. So I went ahead and grabbed that guy and then I saw these and they were kind of they were on clearance for three dollars and so I had to go ahead and get them again I'm gonna put it away for Ruby for her birthday but it's by the pioneer woman and it's chicken cran apple recipe jerky sticks and they're all natural and they were like I said on clearance for three dollars I didn't even know that she had 
like dog treats like that but it doesn't surprise me because Reed Drummond seriously has everything but it says that it's their best used by this month uh that's why they're on clearance so we'll definitely need to make sure we use them as soon as we give them to her and then I had to get this for the cat Let's see if we can mess with him right now. I'm not like saving this for anything, but I saw it and I had to grab it. So it's called the Smarty Cat Chickadee Chirp 349. Well, I'll show it to you in the package first. So that's what that looks like, right? And then see there's a little tab right here. There was one pulled in the store, so I got a chance to see what it was like. And I'm so completely going to mess with him right now. You guys don't even know. All right, you ready? We're going to pull the tab. Ready? <laughs> you want it, buddy? <gasps> Go get it. We may have a new toy on our hands. For $3.49, I had to get the annoying chirpy bird. That made me so stinking happy. All right, some other things that I discovered. You guys, I could have bought a million things. And all I kept thinking about was, I don't need that many snacks in my house, so I'm not going to do it. But there were so many things I have never seen there before that I could have purchased. And like I said, they're so unique in their snacks that I have to remember when we're like out of something. If I'm looking for something different, I maybe would rather not buy it in bulk. Buy, like go to Big Lots and spend $15 on buying five $3 snacks so we get to try different things than going to Sam's Club and spending $6 but getting the giant box of one thing, if that makes any sense. It must be the way that I am sitting, but my left leg is so asleep and I'm trying to like flex my toes while I'm talking to wake my foot up and it's not working. But all right, they had so many of these like little Debbie kind of snack cakes and stuff, things I've never seen. And I had little Debbie on the brain because we just did that taste test. And so things were catching my eye because I've never seen these things. So look at these. They're little Debbie birthday cakes, which I thought is so stinking cute because I thought I could use these as like Maya's snack cakes for her birthday or like, I was thinking the last week of school, every single day doing a theme for them. I was thinking more just red, white, and blue, but I was on the phone with my girlfriend, Bonnie, and walking through the store with Vanessa, and both of them were like, why don't you do something every single day, change it up? Of course they would suggest that because challenge accepted. So I think one of the days I'm gonna do like a birthday day since Maya's birthday is like, 11 days after school's over so she doesn't get to do any of the fun birthday celebrations and I've already asked if I could send cupcakes and stuff in for the teacher and she's not sure if they're going to be able to work that out before the end of the year since they're already doing something every single day from now until then so she said she'll let me know but I was hoping for Maya to have some kind of birthday celebration if not I'm going to do a birthday lunch dedicated to her and I'll use these little birthday cakes as like her snack for them so i thought that was super cute and then these i've never seen before so one of the ice creams was zebra cakes that we tried by little debbie and i don't even know if i've ever bought an actual zebra cake vanessa was smart when she did her taste test she bought all of the snack cakes and let them try a little piece and then try the ice cream and see how close they were i should have done that because half the snacks that we had my kids have never had they've never had a honey bun they've i don't know if i've ever bought zebra cakes before and stuff so there's a bunch of them that they've not ever had so I probably should have done that but these are zebra cake donuts just the little Debbie donuts my kids love donuts they like could eat donuts all the time uh, I certainly wouldn't let them have donuts all the time but that's definitely a treat even Franklin when our elf comes sometimes he surprises them with breakfast and he'll go get them Dunkin Donuts so I know how much like my kids love donuts so when I saw the zebra cake ones I thought that would be kind of cool because we still have the zebra cake ice cream I think and they've never tried a real zebra cake so I thought they'd want to try that and then Vanessa pointed this out for Daryl and it was only a dollar and I thought this would be really awesome for him so this is Delisana raspberry sponge cakes with raspberry jelly and chocolate 
for a dollar i mean how does that not speak to daryl i don't even know what does like look at that little sponge cake that looks so so yummy that a raspberry and a strawberry i just got the raspberry but i think like i said for a buck that would be good for when i'm packing his lunches and then i got a couple of red white and blue things to do for their red white and blue themed day uh whatever is left over i'm just going to compile do you hear that little bird? I'm so excited. He's loving it. Uh, I'm going to compile whatever candy and extra things I have left over and just use them for um, Maya's pinata for her birthday. Um, but this is just red, white, and blue Tootsie Rolls. So I thought those would be cute, like I said, for their themed lunches or for her party. And then I saw these. I have never seen these either. So these are like an oatmeal cream pie, but with a chocolate chip cookie. This is my kind of thing. I love like chocolate chip cookies. That has to probably be one of my all time favorite desserts. Like a warm chocolate chip cookie would be way up there with my favorite choices. Even as a young child, if I would get ice cream from the ice cream man, I would either get a toasted almond or I would get the chip witch, like the chocolate chip cookie with the ice cream in the middle. I really just enjoyed those. My mother-in-law makes the most amazing chocolate chip cookies. Matter of fact, years ago, Mason and I shared her recipe. So I can link that video if you guys want to check it out but she just makes the best chocolate chip cookies and if you if I had to pick like Oreo or Chips Ahoy Chips Ahoy so when I saw these this was like the ultimate this was the oatmeal cream pie but with a chocolate chip cookie yes because I'm not a fan of the oatmeal cream pie but a uh, chocolate chip cream pie yes please and then I also got this Duncan Hines original country cherry pie filling and topping so another recipe that I have to make for the upcoming cookbook is a like black forest cake in the crock pot and so you use a cherry pie filling on the bottom and then you use brownie mix up top and it kind of makes like this really yummy black foresty kind of dessert so good but I needed cherries and I went ahead and grabbed this I believe this was a dollar 89 uh, there is a brand I like a little bit better at Walmart but it's a little bit more pricey and so while I was just here in Big Lots I went ahead and grabbed that and then I think this is my last bag and then I have one box to show you and then Dollar Tree uh, which I said Dollar Tree is small but I did get some clothes at Big Lots also okay Big Lots is pretty good for their clothes sometimes I get a little upset with myself because everything always looks like it's going to fit when you hold it up and then when you get home it's snug and right now I'm the snuggiest I've been and so everything always looks good there but that's okay because I have a wedding to go that I'm going to be in and I have a few weddings that I'm going to this year and so honestly like no more messing around I need to work on I know I just showed you chocolate chip cream pies and then told you how much I need to work on my weight but I really don't eat that crap I mean honestly but Needless to say, we'll see if some of the things I picked up fit me, but I got three shirts for myself and then one for Maya. I saw this, fell in love with it. It was $14, and I think she sh um, could wear this to her graduation. So it's a little button-down vest. I'll show you the little detail of the buttons. They're so stinking cute. Do you see, like, the detail of the little gems? So cute. I love the little denim vest. And when you open it, the little vest it has a dress underneath actually maybe i'll just take the dress out this way so i don't unbutton it maybe she could just slide it over but then there's this pink sleeveless very florally it has hibiscus pink and yellow hibiscus flowers all over it but i thought this would be so cute for her kindergarten graduation uh that is coming up in just maybe just a little over a week for you guys uh so I'm super excited I thought she would love that so I went ahead and grabbed that for her for her graduation and then this was on clearance what did I pay for this oh yeah four dollars and it just says it's fall y'all and it says that it's a 2x and it looks wicked wide but I've gotten stuff from Big Lots before like I got last year one that had like Santa on it and it said mom bod and it just made me laugh so much and so I got that one and then I got something else I don't remember something else Christmassy 
I don't know. And it just didn't fit. And so I'm hoping that this fits. It looks like it's going to, but I don't know. We'll see. But it says it's fall, y'all, in purple with, like, pretty purple flowers. I absolutely love it. And I don't have anything that says that really, like, fall-ish related. So I did go ahead and grab that. And then I saw this one, um, which reminded me of this shirt that I'm actually wearing right now. This is black and white tie-dye. And I believe this is a shirt I recently got from Fashion that I really like. It grew on me so much. I wasn't sure when I first tried it on, but then I kept it. And I've worn it a bunch of times and so comfortable and it fits me nice um, and this reminded me of that and then this one says love is essential again also a 2x and looks really really wide so hopefully it'll fit me but I love that it looks almost like clouds but still tie-dye and I hope and it like looks universal it's that color blue that would look good with a bunch of things and then this is long sleeve but it's a really thin long sleeve even the bottom oh uh let me, hold on i forgot to tell you what this one how much this one was i think this one was on sale for oh i was gonna say six but it was eight so i don't think that's that bad and then this says it was 16 dollars for a long sleeve not on clearance but that's because it's so lightweight i think they consider it a summer but i fell in love with the color this just says choose happy and i love the pinky color and the lightweight and the thin sleeves and like i said i feel like this is perfect for sometimes it's just chilly in my house because it's 100 degrees outside and so my air conditioner never shuts off because all it needs to do is run all day to try and keep the house cool and so because of that it's a little chilly sometimes and uh like Vanessa is more like a cardigan kind of person um I feel like cardigans keep opening and then if I tie it I feel restricted so I don't enjoy cardigans as much but a nice big like cozy pullover I'm all about that and so I really just love it I love the design of it. it's very simple and like I said the mauvey color just totally my thing so I could not leave that guy in the store and then lastly the last thing I could not leave in the store was a gift for my husband because uh, Father's Day is coming up and one thing that Daryl and I really share in common is our love of lights. We both just love lights. I'm more of like indoor lighting and ambiance. I love the powered on candles and I love all of the high hats that we put in with the dimmer switch so that I can set the lights and the mood lighting and all of that. And Daryl's outdoor lighting. He just loves Christmas time, all of the Christmas lights. He loves blow ups. He asks like for blow ups and for outside for the front lawn every year because he loves the decor. He loves all the fancy lights. He's been asking every single year, which I think I'm going to cave for him this year for Christmas and get that system that you hook up to the music that makes all of your lights go to the music. I He just wants it so bad. So when I saw this, I just had to jump all over it. Brightology, they've sponsored a video of mine in the past. They sent all these like little small lights that we, little twinkling lights that we have all outside that's solar. And then I got him ones like these that we have on the inside of our little overhang, but they're small. And then I saw these and I literally did not know what to do with myself. These things are gigantic. They're gonna put off so much light and Daryl's going to lose his mind. Like, do you see how big the bulb is? It's the, like, it's the palm of my hand. It's like, that's actual size, what you're seeing on the box in comparison to my finger. Those are huge lights and he is just going to absolutely love them. Oh, it's the same picture on the front that it's on the back, but it's 10 of them and it says it has steady burning for outdoor use only and he just loves them and they're solar and he is just going to go nuts for these literally is going to go nuts for them so i can't wait to give him these like i said for father's day i know he is going to love those and then i actually ordered him something really funny my husband is a golfer uh, i've actually shared a bunch of videos and stuff where we've gone golfing and stuff together it's a hobby that he just really truly enjoys and so i said i hope this is not offensive to anybody it's just a play on words but it was really funny but it's a bag and it's called the ball sack 
and it's meant to hang off your golf bag and like for you to store all of your golf balls in. Daryl only has his in like a little pocket and it's kind of annoying for him because it's deep so he always has to reach in really far to get them like if he loses one or whatever. So I thought this would be kind of cool for him to just hang and they personalized it so it says Daryl's ball sack on it which is just the funniest thing and they shape it like saggy men's and then they for an extra like five bucks they can put in two blue golf balls it's just the funniest thing and it's a stupid play on words that a wife could give a husband as like a joke for father's day so the kids are gonna give them the lights and they'll always they always draw him stuff and make him stuff like at school and stuff um but then mom's gonna give him that little thing and I think it's just gonna be so so funny so I'm really excited um but that was it that was my um big lots haul and out of pocket I said I spent 142 all right hold on I'm taking a sip of my Dunkin Donuts coffee I love rewards that you can use from gift cards you got for Mother's Day all right um, this is what I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Like I said, I spent extremely minimal money, but I needed to do it. So one thing Maya just saw on a YouTube video was Sweet Tarts. She asked if she liked them, and I said, yes, I imagine she would. I'm sure we've gotten little Sweet Tart packets like in Halloween candy or something. It's not a candy I would buy, but she asked if she could try them, and then she asked to try Sweet Tarts tart ropes which is leanne from grady's mom that's her favorite candy every time i see this i think of her so i got these just to throw in maya's little birthday bag because i know she's going to like that and then i saw these so i got two of them one for new york and then one for here but this says congrats grad with the graduation cap and tassel and it's a cake topper and it's in the black and gold, which was the theme that I wanted to go with. And it has the stick for you to just stick right in the cake. So I got two of those. Like I said, one for each place. And then I also saw this. And this one just says congratulations in the black and gold. This was not like in the graduation section. This was in the regular party section. But it's black and gold, so it still kind of goes. So I'm going to save this to hang as decor for Jake's graduation. I mean, you really just can't beat decor like that for a dollar because it's stuff you're just gonna take down and throw away. Um, and then I got this birthday, just says B-Day, but it's 30, oh no, 25 inches if you hang it on a string in the little loops, which is, you know, a little over two feet long. I think is that's pretty cool. It comes with a straw, you just blow it up and it's one big blow up balloon that says a B-Day. So I got that along with the number six in gold, also inflatable balloon. So I can put that together for Maya's birthday. I'm still not sure what I'm doing for her birthday or Jake's graduation. I've been going back and forth with both things because, all right, you guys, I need your opinion. So for Jake's graduation, I was going to do, like I mentioned in another video, I think my Dollar Tree, that I was going to rent like an Airbnb that had a pool in the backyard. The little pool that we're getting is not good enough for a pool party. So I was going to rent one. They even have that website, Swimply, which I was thinking about um, like renting. But his graduation is 7 to 8 at night. So I can't do anything after, which I thought was kind of weird. I feel like graduations most of the time are during the day. But this is 7 to 8 at night, so I can't do anything after. So it would have to be the next day. But then that's really hard because if you rent a place, they don't usually let you in until 3 o'clock. So then how much time would I have to set up before I would have a party? So I'd have to rent it for two days, like Saturday, and then not do anything there but like sleep and set up and then have the party the next day, which is kind of silly to spend like you know, five, six hundred dollars to rent a place for a couple of days just to have like a barbecue, which I really could just have here. It's just there's not really anything for anybody to do. And both Marissa and Vanessa and Lauren, all three of my friends that I have here that would come to the party have kids. So I need to have something entertaining for them, even though it's a graduation party and I don't have space to do anything. So give me your ideas. Like, what would you do? Should I have the party on Saturday, but do it before the graduation? I don't know. I'm a little frustrated and I didn't really know what to do with ideas. So that's where I'm at with that. Uh, I also got a happy birthday with the number six candle so I can be prepared for that with Maya because I always seem to forget to pick up the candles. Um, 
And then Vanessa spotted these, then she chose not to get them, and I picked them up because my kids just love them. And yes, they make a mess, but they go outside and do it. And I don't care, it keeps them busy. But they love dig kits, and they had summer ones. So I got this silver, like, looking seashell kind of for Maya and then the blue like seahorse conch shell kind of one for Mason and you break it apart and it says unearth the surprise inside. I'm not really sure what that is. It looks like maybe a crab or something but it's an excavation place that comes with little scraping tools and the hammer and all that stuff and then lastly I saw this little five piece berry pick and I love that because I love filler pieces I like to make all of my little like trees and tiered things and all the things and I use all floral picks and stuff and I love the red white and blue I don't have any for like my summer decor which I just started putting out which I'm so excited because I skipped spring completely and I just started putting out all of my summer stuff and it's making me really happy so I want to add that to my little tear tray to kind of make it a little um more red white and bluish but all right you guys I think that was it so it was a total of about 155 dollars that we spent out but a lot of it was either gifts that we're using or fun food finds or just things that we kind of needed or wanted I think overall I think we did pretty good but I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up I appreciate you just hanging out with me while I got to share with you some of the things that I bought subscribe if you are new don't forget to go and check out what Vanessa got on our little shopping trip and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys